Here we have a MacBook Air that has liquid damage that's not powering on. Let's figure out what's wrong with this MacBook and where the liquid got to that's causing it to not power on and work properly. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the screws out of the bottom of the case. Memory, all alone in the moonlight. I can dream of the old days. I was beautiful then. I remember the time I knew what happiness was. Let the memory live again. Every street lamp seems to beat a fatalistic warning. Someone mutters in the street lamp gutters, and soon it will be morning. Daylight, I must wait for the sunrise. I must think of a new life, and I mustn't give in. When the dawn comes, tonight will be a memory too, and a new day will begin. <laughs> Burnt out ends of smoky days, the stale cold smell of morning. A street lamp dies, another night is over, another day is dawning. Touch me, it's so easy to leave me, all alone with the memory of my days in the sun. If you touch me, you'll understand what happiness is. Look, a new day has begun. My favorite version of that is the one with Veal Castellan. I had such a crush on Veal Castellan. She'll probably never find my YouTube channel or have a clue who I am. But, damn. Veal Castellan. What an amazing voice. Just one of those angelic voices. People would pay $1,000 tickets to watch Lewis on stage fixing MacBooks. Are you serious? I sincerely doubt this. I would like to have... Yeah, I think Hi Hi with Ross Khan, I think that could be a good idea. It's just I'd have to find somebody to help me administer Ross Khan and set it up that's not such a... Um, how do I put this? Uh, a fucking traitor. For that, I'm totally clipping that and giving the footage to her. I wager she'll be flattered. I sincerely doubt it. I get a light on the charger, and this is almost trying to turn on. It's using 40 milliamps and spiking to 160. So let's look over this board because this is uh, quite the. Uh, this, this board is quite something. Can you imagine if Veal Castellan actually showed up to sing at Roscon? Oh man. I could die happy right there. Or Rachel Tucker. If I could get Rachel Tucker to sing there, the best, absolute best. Or Ruby Lewis, but that, no. Hmm. What are the chances of getting Ruby Lewis to show up to Roscon 2020? From Cirque du Soleil. Am I aiming a little too high? Am I aiming a little too high to have Cirque du Soleil singers showing up at my conference? Probably. First thing we do here, What is this connector called? Yeah, it's dead. That's what you are. All right, now see how there's a pin missing over here? See that? Pin that's burned. Now granted, this connector doesn't matter for anything. It's a JTAG connector. It's used for diagnostics. But what I care about is that that pin being burned is gonna tell me where there was any sort of electrical or circuit overload. That's what I'm interested in. So I'm gonna open up the schematic in the board view for the 8200164 and check that out. PP3V42. Okay, so PP3V42 had some sort of nonsense on it. So everything on that line I'm going to expect has been a little bit jumpy. And that's likely because liquid got on my regulator, which means that the 16 volts coming into there was likely sent to everything on that line. Great! That's, that's just great. That's going to make me very happy. Now, 
it is still putting out PP3 before 2 Do keep in mind that we did get a green light in the charger. We wouldn't be getting a green light in the charger like we did in the beginning. If the one wire circuit wasn't working, the one wire circuit is going to require PP3 before 2 to be present so that the two logic gates as well as the SMC can be powered, which they're not powered. PP3 before 2 is missing. Yes, chances of Ruby Lewis showing up at Roscon. Uh, negative 50. I'm not, I wouldn't even put 1% on that. I would put a negative percent on that. She would say no to that before she even knew it existed. What if she showed up and sang a song about wanting an iPhone 4? Where is my iPhone 4? I want an iPhone 4. Get the fuck out of my store. We are closed. It's you. Oh. He's so amazing. That's the other thing, is that the million subscriber thing's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, YouTube algorithm started doing that thing where it takes me out of the game. Because you know something's going wrong. What the f fizzly fuck is that? Holy moly. What did you do, dum dum? Wonder if this is why I'm boot looping. Aw, CD3211. That's so cute. That's before they use CD3215s. Thunderbolt muxing chips from yesteryear. Adorable. It's adorable. Thomas has got to push those mainstream media channels on YouTube. Yeah. Because I've noticed recently, I, you know, I noticed that my uh, view count uh, had went down considerably. But it also happened at the exact, which I don't care, you know, my, my viewpoint, my view count is going to go down because my content is fucking boring. But what I noticed is that the view count was going down at the exact same time that a bunch of people were saying, Hey, Lewis, I just noticed that I'm not getting notifications when you release a new video anymore. Hey, Lewis, you're not showing up in my subscriber feed. Like, expect me to put time and effort into this effing platform? I damn near rather learn to code. I damn near rather learn to code. So let's see what's going on around here. We have these BIOS traces that are... Uh, so, th so these are traces between the SPI ROM and the CPU, and there's going to be resistors in between. Just want to make sure that none of these are missing. There's a lot of dirt over here, so you got to scrape through a lot of junk to see if those resistors are any good. We've also got some corrosion over here, and the resistors underneath the CPU. Memory, alone in the moonlight. Memory, alone in the moonlight. I think I'm tired of this board. It looks like a piece of shit. Burned out ends of smoky CPUs. The stale cold smell of failing. PM Sleep S4L dies. Another repair is over. Another touch bar is dawning. PP5 ES4 is missing, PP5 ES5 is present, same old shit. So it's going to be our BIOS traces most likely, because that's going to keep PM Sleep S4L from functioning. And look at these resistors, like what, what the hell is this? These are all junk. So let's see if any, let's see which one of these doesn't resist anymore. 15 ohms, you resist. This resistor hashtag resists. 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 You know what? I think now's a great time to head home. Eat some apples and cinnamon oatmeal. Play with my cat. Be done with this shit. 
Sorry, folks. It's time for me to rage quit. It's been fun having you here. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something. Have you bought our green UV curable solder mask? But you're not sure how to cure it? Well, don't delay. Today, you can buy our magical UV curing pen. This UV curing pen allows you to cure any sort of UV solder mask or conformal coating by simply pressing a button. This pen, batteries not included, is sold on store.rossmangroup.com for the low, low price of $7.96. You can simply go to the homepage, scroll down, click on this 405 nanometer laser pointer, and this little laser pointer will happily cure all of your UV paste. These items will be shipped by Mikey. Say hello, Mikey. That's Mikey. My goal is by the end of the year that every item that I link below that we actually sell it rather than affiliate link to it on Amazon. Because I'd rather be pay paying people like Mikey than paying people like Jeff Bezos. Every time you buy one of these pens, you support people like Mikey, me, and unfortunately Kevin. But that's one of the costs of doing business, unfortunately. Right. So check out store.rossmangroup.com to get one of these nice little UV pens. Let's go to work. So we're going to continue with that MacBook Air that we were working on yesterday. This is the MacBook Air that was not turning on. It was giving us 20 to 40 milliamps uh, boot looping, most likely due to some damage in the SPI ROM area. So the first resistor that I'd like to remove is gonna be this one in the upper right corner here. Okay, I took all those resistors off, and it was only one of them that I actually needed to take off. And as, as usual, here's the fun part, is that the resistor that I took off that needed to be taken off was the last one. You see how that worked? I took every single one. So that was the only one that actually needed to be taken off. That's some good luck right there. Okay, that's one resistor. It was a BIOS issue. And what's interesting is that last night, we actually me I measured every single one of those resistors and they were fine. But the thing is, while the resistor is still on the board, you can't see the pad under it. And this is one of those reasons when people say, why don't you just measure everything? That measuring everything doesn't matter because you're not gonna see every single part that is important to be seen. We're working on that. Yep. You have a good day. I thought he was going to punch you in the face. <laughs> he walks in, which one of you is Kevin? <laughs> Let's see if we uh, get a fan spin now. We would be pretty happy if after all this we get a fan spin.
Yeah. Well, no, I. Okay. So when I hit the web browser on this thing, yeah. it was opening multiple tabs, and the top tab was just porn, man. <laughs> I tried keeping a straight face. Uh, um. That's <laughs> Damn it. Still 40 milliamps. How the hell? Still 40 milliamps. Grr. And we fixed the one with the messed up pad. Did I miss a resistor? Perhaps I missed a resistor. Looks like I did all of them. Hmm. Here we have ultrasonic to that airboard that was driving us nuts. And I'm gonna give it a second look. What would you like for lunch? Escargot, filet mignon? Oh, uh, is that the back panel to it? What would you like for lunch? Escargot? Uh, Filet mignon? Get whatever you want. The highest taste. <laughs> for, the rest, for the rest of the month. That question right there. What do you Actually, wait. Today's lunch? the last day. Okay, the next two weeks. Get the nice, get whatever you want. Okay, now the fan spins. Look at that. So all it needed was an ultrasonic after all that work, and I'll let you look over and see what the board looks like. You saw what it looked like in the beginning, and now you can see what it looks like in the end after going through a trip from at sendyourmacbook.com. Don't delay. Send your MacBook to sendyourmacbook.com today. Wow, folks. You can barely even recognize it. Beautiful, beautiful fan spin. And look at that. This board has no more JTAG connector. Lovely. So that's it for this one, and as always, I hope you learned something. Do you have a MacBook that needs to be fixed? Come by our store, which is open to the public at 186 First Avenue in Manhattan. Are you located outside of New York? No problem. Send us a machine from anywhere in the world by going to our website and clicking on the mailbox or simply heading over to sendyourmacbook.com. That's sendyourmacbook.com where you'll be redirected to our mail-in instructions page that includes the form and the directions on how to send us a MacBook for repair. We have a live chat where you can speak with us about the repair that you need, a phone number where a representative will pick up during our open hours, and a contact form where you can contact us about repairs.